The Arabian leopard stands on the brink of extinction. There are fewer than 200 left in the wild. In Oman, the leopard is a protected animal, but in Yemen, its natural terrain is controlled by regional tribes, who still see the leopard as a threat to be killed. A group of Yemenis are traveling to Oman as part of a pioneering new project. They'll learn conservation techniques in the hope that they will return to Yemen as regional ambassadors for the protection of the leopard. <laughs> if the course is a success, it will be a major step in bringing the Arabian leopard back from the brink of extinction. Ibrahim Hussein is the son of one of Yemen's most prolific leopard trappers. His father was the first person to trap a leopard and put it on display in Yemen's capital, Sana'a. <laughs> Trapped Arabian leopards are often sold to private collectors or zoos for thousands of dollars, a big cash prize for many Yemenis. Ibrahim is from the Wada region, in the northern tribal area, the only place left in Yemen where there have been recent confirmed sightings of the Arabian leopard. Wada is a crucial area for any future leopard conservation work. But if attitudes here are to be challenged, local support has to be developed. Ibrahim could play a key role and has agreed to join the leopard conservation group going to Oman. The trip will be led by David Stanton, who gave up a teaching career in Yemen to devote himself full time to leopard conservation. David is the director of the Foundation for the Protection of the Arabian Leopard in Yemen. He is on his way to Wada to collect Ibrahim. Uh, Wada is one of the most uh, promising locations in Yemen for leopard population. Uh, however, the community there is divided on this issue as to whether or not they want a protected area. The northern tribal areas are volatile, and David needs to travel with an escort of two truckloads of heavily armed Yemeni soldiers. Well, there's two tuckums now. There's probably a total of about 20 military and police personnel looking after our welfare right now. They'll be there at the village when we get there. You know, we don't know what kind of reception we're going to get. Is this looking more like leopard country? On arrival, David is greeted by the village sheikh. His support is vital to allow David free passage in the surrounding area. Salam 
Yemen is a country threatened by civil war and regional uprisings, and any leopard-protected area would need to be policed by a local villager like Ibrahim. Uh, وكيف شغل ال كيف شغل يدخل أول ما يوصل يأكل اللحمة أيوة. الحبل ينفك والباب يسقط عليه هذا مكان اللحمة آه آه هناك عظام وهذا العظام البقايا والآخر مرة سنتي. يمسك النمر هنا في حوالي ألفين واثنين ألفين وثلاثة هذا تم بيعه للسعودية وكم كم فلوس له ما يقابل سبعمائة أو ثمانمائة ألف ريال يمني Ibrahim has key leopard tracking skills and would make an ideal wildlife ranger. But Ibrahim already has a job and he's not convinced about future work in conservation. I mean, this is a bit of a risk. I'm aware of the fact that this is something that he's sort of not taking with a grain of salt. I think he's serious about his commitment to seeing what he can get from it and what skills he can learn. But it's up to Ibrahim how he can possibly use him in the future. Big adventure lies ahead. To get to Oman, Ibrahim must travel across Yemen, from Wada in the northwest, through Sana'a, the Marib, and along the coast. He is joining a team of conservationists from all over Yemen. Oh, David. I, uh, David. Nasir al-Milhani is a farmer from the remote mountains of Yemen's northwest. Like Ibrahim, he has vast animal tracking experience. Dr. Mohammed al dois is from the Department of Biology at Yemen's Ib University. Nasir uh, Ibrahim, what do you want to do with the experience that we will go to Oman? I hope we will get some information that we will get some information. We will get some information Before the group cross into Oman, David has decided to stop off at Half, a small town on the Yemeni side of the border. We're on our way to Half, which is exactly en route to Oman. Recently had a report of a sighting. Large cat footprints could definitely fall in the range of leopard footprints. This is very exciting. It's strong evidence that there's still leopards out there, and we aim to prove it. Today, Ibrahim and the group have the challenge of finding scientific proof that there are leopards in the area. During the search, Ibrahim and Nasser will utilize their tracking skills, but they'll also be using technology that is new to them. Uh, <laughs> Abraham's uh, basically been tracking leopards ever since he was a child. So people in this group have different levels of skill. Uh, Ibrahim's not here necessarily to see what optimal leopard habitat looks like or what leopard sign looks like. 
He already knows those things. But he doesn't know how to use the technology. He doesn't know how to operate these camera traps. So we found that the tracks, the hyena tracks there, you know, good possibility that leopards would use the same avenue. Malini set her camera here. Malini, the international student who found the footprint, has set up a motion detector camera trap to try and capture conclusive evidence of the leopard's existence. And the last one was taken on the 27th. So that's when the batteries went dead. Yeah. Okay, so inshallah, there'll be something on there. We'll see what it is. <laughs> If caught on film, this will be the first ever wild Arabian leopard to be photographed in Yemen. What is he really? <laughs> <laughs> there are no photos of a leopard, but Ibrahim and Nasser are impressed with the camera technology. The day's work has set a good tone for the rest of the expedition. This morning, the team are leaving Yemen and crossing the border into Oman. They're heading for the Jebel Samhan Nature Reserve, where a pioneering project has been set up to protect leopards in the wild. Leopards on the Omani side of the border are protected, but when they cross into Yemen, they have no protection at all. Conservation work has been going on at the reserve since 1997, and it now has the largest documented population of wild leopards, with around 25 animals. The reserve covers 4,500 square kilometers and is policed by two rangers, one of whom is Khalid al-Hikmani. Khalid uses his skills to find populations of leopards in the wild, to monitor their movements and protect the territory they inhabit. Ibrahim and the group will work alongside Khalid for the next few days to learn these conservation skills, which one day they may implement back in Yemen. Tomorrow we are going to check some um, camera traps okay. and one of the most important sites that um, you can see the leopard. Everybody guys, now we will go. Please follow, Five will be our guide. Today the group are off on their first mission. They will learn how to use a motion detector camera trap and see how the cameras are used to identify and monitor leopards in the wild. It's a four hour trek to the camera and they need to make it there and back before nightfall. هني الكاميرات حاطينها من تقريبا من ماشي يكت عليهن من مدة وممكن نحصل فيها صور بس بالنسبة لها خالد ليش البقعة هذه بالاتجاه هذا يعني موضع بهذا الشكل نحصل على المنطقة على خروج دخول النمر وخروج من المنطقة لأن تعرف إذا كانت المنطقة واسعة فما تقدر تحصل النمر في جاء ولا لا 
وضعت لها بعد ما حصلت على الاثر اهم شيء يكون المنطقه محصور ما يكون ضاغط شويه على ان التراب رملية التراب رملي ويكون المنطقه الضيق ضيق المعبر انت بتمشي وحدك ليل نهار وتباتوا ما تخاف ولا بد الحمد لله ما وبدون صار. سلاح الحمد لله ماشي سلاح ولا الحمد لله حتى الان ماشي صعوبات نفس الشيء الشباب موجودين معنا اذا في نقص و... 1484 صورة we can't check it here I think no. and we need to check it in the, the laptop back at camp it's time to view the photos from the camera Ibrahim and Nasser are keen to see what the modern camera technology has to offer but the results are disappointing إذا ما حصلنا على صور في خلال هذه الفترة إن شاء الله بنحصل صور يوم نشيك الكاميرات الثانية اللي موجودة في المناطق الثانية. Sunset marks the end of a long hard day and dinner is served. There's been no sign of any leopard. But that is about to change. Just as night sets in and everyone falls asleep. Nasser is convinced that he's seen a leopard in the wild. The chance of this is similar to him being struck by lightning. بالليل انا كنت ماشي من هنا رايح ابول الى هذه المنطقه فمشيت شويه بعدين الكشه جد هنا في هذا الاتجاه بعدين وقفت هنا ولا اشوف الا في حيوان هنا يعني يمكن في بيني وبين حوالي 10 متر بس جاء ارتفع يمكن هكذا الى هذا الشكل في الارتفاع في الكبرى ما منقش ما ضروري نقطة سوداء ونقطة صفراء وبعدين مرة إلى هنا حتى إنه نزل الوادي إلى تحت طول فترة المشروع عمري ما شفت النمر خارج الكاميرات الفخية أتابعه بس أسمع الصوت من من غريب بس ما عمري ما شفته على النزول باقين Today Khalid sets the group a new challenge. They need to confirm Nasser's claim that a leopard passed through the camp and build a scientific picture of its movements. بننزل على الكاميرات نشوف الكاميرات عشان نحصل النمر اللي اللي شفتوه بكرة البارح. Nasser claims the leopard came from up the valley, where plenty of camera traps have already been set. If there was a leopard, the group should be able to find its tracks and then check the nearby traps for proof. If they do find conclusive evidence, Nasser will have made the first confirmed sighting in years of a wild Arabian leopard. <laughs> حصل شوف شوف شو دور شعر الناعم لأنه حق نمر إذا كان خشن حق ضبع هذا كل فض An early false alarm turns out to be nothing more than a porcupine track but it doesn't take long for the group to make the big breakthrough هذا تعال هذا هو النمر الحقيقي أنا هذه مقدمة وهذه مآخرة ال هذه المقدمة الثانية. زين أنا حصلتها. وهذه أيه؟ هذه الحفرة اللي يعملها النمر ويبل فيها. الحفرة البراز يخليها هنا. إلى 40 سنتي أو 45 سنتي. هذا نمر. خليه النمر هنا. والله أعتقد أنا على إني مش هذا حق النمر. لأن حق النمر بيجي بشكل حلزوني. حلزوني هذا ال. 
احيانا يكون كذا دائما متاكد من من ليش اسمه من البراز ممكن تشوف الشعر 100% نمر 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 هذا نمر هذا نمر ايوه ابراهيم الناصر find clear signs that a leopard has passed through and head off to find the nearest camera trap خالد يا خالد يا خالد اللي وقت الكاميرا الكاميرا موجوده ها أه؟ من هنا صرت شفته هناك هناك في الشجره they need photographic evidence with exact date and time to confirm that they have actually managed to find and track the movements of a wild Arabian leopard. <laughs> the photos reveal a leopard just two hours before the sighting at the camp. Nasser feels certain that it is the same one. فعندما وصل والساعة ثامنة مساء وكان عن بعد قريب مشوا بعد زيادة عن الموقع الذي لقينا فيه والكاميرا كانت موضوعة في نفس الموقع. The team checks the other nearby camera traps and heads back to camp to look at the photographs in full. And the results are remarkable. Uh, the Arabian leopard is one of the rarest mammals on Earth. Eight to 16 times rarer than the giant panda and up to 32 times as rare as a Bengal tiger. We know of a reasonably healthy population in Indofar, but this is still only about 50 animals. Uh, Yemen, there are an unknown number. We know they still exist there. We don't know how many. This experience has been groundbreaking and historical in the sense that it is, apart from captive breeding, it's the first regional effort to share knowledge for the conservation of Arabian leopards. Preserving Arabian leopards in Yemen is, <laughs> according to some people, an impossible task. Uh, you know, what I envision for them is the same role that Khalid fulfills here, becoming the foot soldiers in the fight to save the Arabian leopard in Yemen. <laughs> جميل ومنعوا في يعني زي ما يقع في ملحان في محافظة المحويت في اليمن برضو بشكل عام وهنا أنا أشتاق يعني كثير للدورة إلى هذه المنطقة لكي أرى الكاميرا وأرى الحيوان قد أرى الحيوانات هذه بعيني الخاصة إذا المواطن فاهم معنى بيئة هو البيئة المواطن بنفسه في اليمن عندنا تسعين في فاهم وعارف وعشرة في المية هم الذي يخربوا والمثل يقول مخرب قلب ألف عمار خذوا آه. بانشوف بانشتد للمؤازرة وللنزول الوادي ون... ونتمنى أن يتحقق هذا في اليمن حماية الحيوان وحماية البيئة العامة